Hi guys, welcome to this lecture series on applied statistics. And today we shall discuss how to standardize a normal distribution. If you're not familiar with the normal distribution, I've given the link to a video in the description beneath this video. No, normal distributions are infinitely many with different means and standard deviations. However, we can easily convert any normal distribution into one with a mean of zero and standard deviation of one. This standard distribution, the standardized uh, normal distribution is called a Z distribution and is calculated by subtracting the mean and dividing by the standard deviation. So consider this normal distribution on your screens with a mean mu. When we subtract the mean, mu dis disappears. Hence the new mean value is now zero. Likewise, when we divide by the standard deviation sigma, as in the formula on your screens, the sigma disappears from every multiple. So now the standard deviation is just one. And so the value of the variable z, also called z score, one standard deviation away from the mean is one or minus one. Likewise, two standard deviations away from the mean, the z score is two or minus two, and so on. So here's an example. Suppose x is a normally distributed random variable with a mean of 10 and standard deviation of five. And we want to know what is the probability of x being greater than 12. Then we can standardize x as follows. We rewrite the formula from the last slide and substitute mu equals 10, sigma equals 5, and x equals 12. Then we compute, and the z score turns out to be 0 0.4. Therefore, the probability of x being greater than 12 is the same as probability of z being greater than 0.4. The next question, though, is how do we compute that probability? Historically, people have computed the probabilities of z-scores with z-tables. This is also why standardizing normal distribution has been necessary because then you can easily find the probability by consulting this table. So for example, to find the probability of z being less than 0.4, we find the row for z equals 0.4. And then since we do not want to add anything to 0 0.4 because the number is just 0 0.40, so we pick the column for, for 0 0.00. At the inter intersection of these two, we find the probability of 0 0.6554. So that is the probability that we were looking for. Now, if instead Z score were 0 0.41, then we would have picked the next column under 0 0.01. Of course, these days we do not need to consult Z tables because we have computers, but it is still common to standardize normal distributions because it simplifies many following calculations. So I hope you understood that and it made sense to you. So thanks for watching and see you next time.